All right, guys, welcome to PES 2008 Master League. Yeah, boy, it's time to get into it. So anyway, this is it, start of the Master League. Oh, my God. So, new game, and we got something for you right here. So let's go. Welcome to the Master League. Hi. Let me explain to you the features of this competition. You can build your dream team by acquiring players through transfers and by the development of young talent. You'll start playing in the lower of the league's two divisions. First off, target a top three finish. This will earn you promotion to Division 1. A good finish in the first division will open the door to the championship finals, where the biggest names in football await. Then, use your skills to pursue the Master League trophy. Good performances will earn prestige, enhancing the value of your players as well as your team. Success on the field will increase your chances of signing players that previously were out of your reach. Etch your name on the Master League Trophy. The competition is about to kick off. Get ready. Well, I, I think we're already ready. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go then. So we've got to pick uh, what we're going to be doing. So we've got the Exhibition Mode players, which will just be all the, uh, you know, the... Uh, normal players that you would expect to come to find like if you picked um i don't know man U for example they'll have like ronaldo and rooney and all that kind of crap so yeah um we got the master league default players with the legends that they are and we've also got a create custom team where you can select new players create new strips and start with an original team well i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to go in with the master league default players with the legends yet again because you've got to love the legends. So uh, I'm going to be going in the English League, guys. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and edited all the English teams here. Now, they haven't got the the, ba the proper badges or anything, apart from Newcastle and Tottenham, because they were licensed this season. But, um, yeah, the, there's like... I'm playing the 360 version here. There's no patches out there that I can find for a 07, 08 season anywhere, so... I figured I might as well just go ahead, edit these teams, and then just go from there, really. And the team I'm going to be going with is going to be... It's kind of considering Derby, to be honest, because of how bad they did. But I'm going to go with Man City. And the reason I'm going with Man City is because this was like the... Um the season before that they got the takeover and everything but it doesn't really matter anyway because i'm not even using their players i'm going with the master league default anywhere um but yeah let's do that now we've got to select a league to compete in now the way i've done this is that we've got as you can see I've gone, I've gone ahead and named all these ones. So I've got like my La Liga here, I've got my Serie A here, and I've got my Premier League here, and I've also got my MISC League here, guys. My MISC, a bit, a bit of miscellaneous. So basically, a bit of a difference between this game and PES 6. In this game, we've got 20 teams up in the top division, whereas before in the Master League, you only had 16. Uh, and three, uh, sorry, two relegation spots. Now you've got like three relegation spots. And the second division has also got um, t uh, 20 teams in as well. So it's really interesting. But because I can't stand it when it... it, it oh, it just, why do that? You know what I mean? Like, why do that? Because we don't have enough, like... You know, like, pre I want to be in the Premier League, don't I? But, I mean, the second division there, you know, you wouldn't have able to put all the championship teams in because they're not there. So you'd have, like, stupid stuff like this where we've got, like, Galatasaray and Fenerbahce in the second division and all that crap. And it's just it's not realistic enough. So I've decided to go with the miscellaneous league, basically. And that's, that's what we're going to do there. And what we're going to do is this is how it's going to work. So teams can be replaced by teams from other leagues. Would you like to do so? So you can progress without changing. So basically, it's just going to keep everything that it's got here. This is just basically randomly set up. Or we can go ahead and change it and move 
stuff around so as you can see here i've got the miscellaneous league division two and the division one so the division two is going to be under the division one here and that's how we're going to do this then we've got the league with only one division and then syria app with one division and then premier league obviously i need to change all this around so i'm going to hit clear all and uh, my team being man city i'm going to pick them out and i'm going to swap them into the premier league i'm going to put them where, where should they be they should be i think there so there you go. So we're going to be in the Premier League starting off. So you don't have to start off in the second division as the guy said there originally. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do all this and come back once it's finished. So uh, let me get cracking with that. So anyway, guys, I've gone ahead and um, edited the ML structure here. So uh, as you can see, we've got the Premier League with all 20 teams here. We've got Serie A, all 20 teams, La Liga, all 20 teams. And then this is where we get to the miscellaneous leagues here. So uh, at the end of the day, some teams have to miss out because you can't put them all in, unfortunately. So yeah, but pretty much all the best of the best, apart from like... Um, River Plate and um, International here, like, they're not even, you know, not even European teams. I've not put them in there because it wouldn't really make any sense kind of thing. But, yeah, anyway. Um, so, in this league, we've got Bayern, Porto, Benfica. This is the top division, by the way. We've got Galatasaray, Monaco, Marseille, uh, Paris. we got Lyon, PSV, EZ, Ajax, 20. we got Bruges, Basel. Besiktas, uh, Sporting, we got Anderlecht, Dynamo Kiev, Fenerbahce, and Feyenoord. So, yeah. And then moving down to the second division, we got Pez United, the Legends, and We United, of course. We got Celtic Rangers in here, we got Lille, uh, we got Nice, Panathinaikos, Olympiakos, Copenhagen, Ozer, Bordeaux, Utrecht, um, Her Herninveen. <laughs> uh, Dynamo Zagreb AIK we've got Rosenborg we've got St Etienne Moscow Mos Spart well, Spartak we'll call them that yeah there you go and uh, EAK Athens so yeah that is basically it guys four divisions as uh, usual and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to that so I do apologise like if your team hasn't made it or whatever but you can't have everybody because that's just the way Pez was back then so yeah it kind of still is in a way so yeah anyway this is the general settings and um we're going to be playing it on top player match time we're going to do 10 minutes ball type doesn't really matter you can change this anywhere um i might might go with that one actually uh, master league level very hard gotta be very hard uh player development yes transfer frequency gonna set this to high so it's basically um the frequency in which transfers happen um between teams and bringing in players and selling players and all kinds of crap happening i'm going to set that high because it's just more interesting hidden classic players are going to be switched off because i don't like to have them on personally and uh, that's it we're going to try and do this the hardest way possible but you might have noticed that there's no um starting points thing in here so there activate auto save yes i'm going to have that on because i like to do that Anyway, th this is it, guys. This is it. Look at how basic this is. In fact, I prefer the the the, uh, the PES six um, interface on that game rather than this myself. But yeah, there you go. We got nine thousand starting points. Where we got some information here about the game over conditions, uh, which is basically just the same. Anyway, if your team ends up having less than sixteen plays, if your points become negative, blah blah blah. So yeah, that's the only way to get. Um, uh, game over um, that's just telling you about the, the I mean it even tells you about promotion and relegation if you didn't understand that which uh, is something but then again I suppose if you never played a game like this before it kind of makes sense so we got um, the uh, qualification uh, for the um, chat or the, the master what was it called the masters league cup or whatever whatever it was called <laughs> yeah so we've got the european championship d1 league first and second entered from the group stage third through six enter the qualifying round it's basically the same as pairs five and six and whatnot um and then there's the masters which is like the UEFA cup as well which gives you an explanation of that so uh yep there you go so if you come like third and fourth in the Champions League group, you go into the UEFA Cup anywhere. If you come 
like if you if you lose in the qualifying for the Champions League, you go through to the UEFA Cup anyway. But check it out, guys. We got like the MySpace logo going on and all sorts, like just for no reason at all. They're just going to stick that right there. And sometimes it can be other stuff like Play.com and whatever. And Menander, the legendary Menander, is talking about the season because he's a ledge. But anyway, just something I want to go through, you know, before we get into all this is the general settings. So the only thing you can change is the match time and the ball type. So once you've decided all this, that's it. So you you, you got to make sure that you're happy with the level that you're you're playing the game on because you can't go back and change it. Negotiations here as well, which is really interesting because you can actually look at stuff like straight away. So if I go to open this to negotiation here, look, we got all this going on. So we can have a look at who wants to maybe um, sign, but obviously we can't sign them yet because we have to get to the first transfer window, which is uh, quite some time away yet. But we've got like Andy Cole, he's a legend, way for sell, way, and that's probably about it. Vols, Fabi, Fabiana, way. <laughs> so yeah. But you get like this sort of like ranking system that ranks your team kind of thing. And the better you are, um, you know, the more players you'll you'll attract. So yeah. Then we've got the uh, the league information here. So oh, we might as well have a look at who we got in the cup then. And we got West Ham way. So that's all right. And you can have a look at all the others as well because there's 20 teams though now um, in this game compared to like PES six and that. You've got like these little extra parts here. So some teams will play extra games first. So as you can see, like Sunderland and Tottenham have to play there. We've got Middlesbrough and Newcastle have to play. Um, Birmingham and Black. Oh, basically it's all just um, it's all just like in alphabetical order, pretty much. Here, here. I got like Arsenal and Aston Villa. Then we got Birmingham and Blackburn. And then there's Bolton there, and then we got like Chelsea, Derby, and everything. So yeah, I guess it depends on on which way you actually set it all up. But we'll just leave it as it is anyway. There has to be some way of doing it. It's just I wish it was more random than that, honestly. But yeah, um, and then we got league match info. So we have got our tables and everything as you would expect. You can't view the second division though under the uh, misc league oh some of them some of these teams have already played actually and we got the rankings as well for assists and goals blah 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 team adjustments so we're going to have a look at some of our team right here look at this team there look at this iverov the legend in goal valeny oh what a ledge he is 33 in this game jarich stremer bit of dodo bed Hughes. He is a championship winning man, he is. He really is. you got to love a Hughes. 34 years of age. <laughs> Espimus is on a bit of a downer. He, he's not He's not looking forward to this already. He's like, oh god, I remember the last time you did this. <laughs> Zemeles, Minanda, a bit of Ordaz. Castolo, the legendary Castolo. With his, he's got good pace, to be honest. But we got um, Lofar, we got the Zamenhof, the legendary keeper. Uh, a bit of Rusks, who I think developed quite well, actually, but probably sell him off at some point. He's not too bad. Looking at his stats there, they don't look very good, but over time, he'll get better. Gearson, Steeny Stein, a bit of Macca. Come on, 4K. A bit of bad shit. Um, <laughs> the, oh, the legendary Hewlands and Hamson. You've got to love them. You've got to love Hewlands. 36 years of age, man. I think he's Australian, isn't he? I think he is. <laughs> You've got to love him. Uh, he's on a bit of a downer already, probably because of the old age. And then we've got some new guys here as well. So we've got like, a couple of centre-backs, a couple of midfielders, and Gutierrez here, who's got pretty decent speed. His stats are pretty good for a 20-year-old, actually. And, um, yeah, he could be one that gets maybe regular games, possibly, because I don't think we're going to be playing Hewlands much. But uh, Castolo and uh, Gutierrez, they've got some pretty decent speed, so I'll probably be going with those. Oh, the legendary team is back. It's ready to probably not kick that much ass in the first season, but, you know. I think this season it's all about just trying to do our best, honestly. But I've decided that I'm going to do the first game, guys. And um, we're going to go for this. Now, I don't know what to do here because I'm thinking I want to change this up and go with a 4-3-3. It's sort of what I'm thinking, but I'm not too sure about it. Not too, too sure about it. I'm thinking of going for more like a, um, 
Mm. I'm thinking of going for more like this one for uh, the, the B2. Because that's just kind of what I'm thinking, honestly. I don't know if, like, it, you know, at this point with this team we've got, should we really go with um, three at the back? I'm thinking four at the back might do us do us a bit better, honestly. But I, I kind of want to go for that. If not, we can maybe change it anywhere. Um, are we can we actually change it back to um, normal? We can go back to the default one. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to do... What the hell? I don't want to do that. I want to do that. They have, like, the 352 by default, but I really don't want to do that, honestly. I think I'm going to go with 433B2 um, because then we've got two defensive midfielders to help out there, so that might be a good idea from the start, but, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and select our team, and we're going to play our first game ever in this series <laughs> against Aston Villa away, which I'm honestly thinking we're going to get absolutely annihilated in. But we're going to give it a go anyway. Anyway, this is it then, guys. So, this is the uh, first game. And we've selected our team. And I don't know about this. <laughs> I think we're going to get absolutely destroyed nearly every game. I think if we could just get a respectable position this season. And then just sort of build it up from there. Just buy some uh, new players. And then the, you know, afterwards we'll buy some better players. And just... It's got to build up from somewhere, hasn't it? So we can't expect much. I think we're going to have to just make use of possibly free transfers to start off with and then maybe um, getting a, a few more in or whatever. But yeah, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know how this is going to go at all. So yeah, we got Ruskin in there. Ivorov is going to be the captain. we got bad shit in there. We've got Maka. And uh, the evil, the, who was the evil one? The evil guy. So this could be very good or it could be very bad <laughs> to start off. If we get like a draw here, that'll be fine, honestly. I'd, I'd take that. But not expecting a whole lot. I've, I honestly think um, Aston Villa might just destroy us here. So yeah. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. Oh my god, this is bad. We're actually losing already, and it's like Bon Lahore who scored. Wow. How? I don't even know. Literally the first attack of the entire series. And we've conceded already. What was that? What is our number three doing? Oh my god, honestly. This is the most dreadful thing ever. <laughs> then again, remember last time I did this in PES 6, guys. It, it took a while to get going, honestly. So, can't expect too much to start off with. But, yeah. Oh, dear. At least we've got the ball now. That's something. <laughs> anyway, I was just checking the uh, camera there just to make sure I had it on my preferred camera, which is the wide camera. So, uh, yeah, everything is pretty much in place now. Just got to try and get out there and do something decent for once. Please don't put him through. Oh, my God. Guys, seriously, what are you doing here? Wow, this is terrible. I mean, I, I don't expect a lot from you all at this point. You know, I mean, considering the team we've got. But, God damn. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? I knew I should have just gone with the exhibition mird players. Oh, God. Whipped in. And back out again. Wee. Right, here we go. Now we can do something. We can do some serious damage now. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, that's good. Whipped. Ah, oh, never mind. Still, that was pretty good. That was like our first good thing of this series. <laughs> so, yeah. Cannot believe that. We I cannot believe if we just get like a draw out of this match, I'll take that honestly. And this could be a really good chance for bad shit. Oh, can't believe it. Bad shit in again. Yes, go on. Oh! such a chance early on, and it's gonna go out. Come on, bad shit. <laughs> you gotta win this. Gutierrez is playing up front. Um. I've put him in there because um, 
well, you know, just like a Castola was on a down arrow kind of thing, so I figured oh, I might as well do that. But yeah, I think Castola and Mapez 6 only scored like two goals for me or something like that, so he didn't do particularly great. But then again, he is kind of old. But he's pretty much going to be your best striker at this point. I'm expecting a lot of teams to probably buy our players because that's what happened in Pez 6 as well. So probably buy a lot of our players and then we just sort of kind of go from there really. Uh, and then just see if we can buy some better players and whatnot. But yeah, like I said, like uh, swap deals and free transfers are probably what we're going to have to go with first when the time comes. But uh, yeah. And here's Carew. What a ledge Carew is. Oh my god. That's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. What a ball in. That really deserved to be in the net. The only possible excuse is that the striker wasn't. Come on, the legendary team is on the rise again. Here's Yaric. Bit of Rusks. Go on, Rusks. You were great for me. Before. Go on, Steeny Stein. With, with, all, with all his like. <laughs> He's like 50 um, rated pace or something. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's a good chance. Oh, this is a decent opportunity, this. There's Ge Gerson. Go on, Gerson. That was terrible. You're meant to be doing better than that. And that was not good at all. Right, here we go. Ah. Oh. oh, hello. No. Nope. Can't believe it. First attack of the frigging game, man. I, I mean, I thought we... You know, I mean, we haven't played too bad since then. We just haven't got a goal yet. Come on. Petrov, don't let him through. Don't let him through. Don't let him through. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so imag imagine if... <laughs> imagine if, like, we got better and then, like, we actually ended up going for the title this season. That would be insanity. Honestly. Oh, no. Oh... <laughs> Give up already. <laughs> oh dear God. Well, I mean, it was, it was either um, three at the back with two defensive midfielders or still keep two defensive midfielders and have four at the back with this 4 3 3. And um, yeah, that's not happened. That's not worked out too well so far, let's put it that way. So, yeah. Come on, we're still in it, we're still in it. <laughs> we're still in it, somehow we're still in it. It's just going to take us a while to get going. Here's Yarich. Go on, Rusks. Oh, crap. No, oh, that's good, that's good. I'm alright with that. That's good. Yes! Go on, bad shit! Ah, oh, you did what you could. Not too bad, not too bad. Bit of Ashley Young out here, we... Chase it, oh. We, the thing is, we haven't got no pace to chase any of them down. <laughs> so, that's amazing. Pick it up, that's it. Go on, Ivorov, your ledge. Jamil is, his Yarich, his Rusks. Oh, God damn. Right, here we go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, that's it. Ten. Oh, had a bit of time there. Right, Rusks is going to go wide. Go on, Maka. Whip it in, Max. That's looking pretty good. For Steeny Stein. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Steeny Stein. Eugs has got to get in there using all of his probably like 20 rated pace or <laughs> something. Oh crap, this is not looking good at all, boys. Whoa. So that was our first ever half and it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, yeah, you know what I'm thinking? Just keep it the same at this point because we've had one or two chances. Anyway, here we go in the second half. And uh, not going to change anything there because I don't think there's a point, honestly. We just need to get forward a bit more here and there and just create some more opportunities. So, yeah, here's Maka. Go on, Maka. Yeah! Now we're talking, boy. Our first goal's not a bad goal either. 
You know what I'm saying? And it's Zemiles or Jimiles or whatever you want to call him. So yeah, that's all right. Come on, we're not, we, we had some good, somewhat decent chances in that first half. It's just a shame that we conceded a couple. But uh, now we've got a good opportunity to get uh, maybe a point out of this game. Come on, boys. It's not bad, it's not bad. Got a bit of the uh, the motion camera here. Just left him, really, didn't he? That was a it was a nice easy one. Come on, guys. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking just four three three with this, honestly. And we'll try that because I do like the space out wide that you get, and you do get a lot of space in this game. Like I've been I've been having a little go on it here and there just to make sure that I'm sort of used to this uh, game. But the gameplay is hardly any different from like Pez six, honestly. So yeah, anyway. Here's Steeny Stein. Go on, Steeny Stein. Here's bad shit. Go on, bad shit. <laughs> How about that for tackling back? So uh, yeah, like obviously the um, the rest of the teams around us that will have to play. Well, we only get to play teams in our league uh, this season anyway. I mean, depends. I don't think we're gonna get a European spot. I don't see that happening, honestly, in the first season. Like I said, if we could avoid like a, a bottom three position, if we could get like in the top, top 10 might be pushing it a bit, but if we could get in maybe the top 10, wouldn't be too bad, honestly. But we're going to need some signings to keep it, to, to get us going really to that point. So uh, yeah, I would say the, um, <laughs> the, the uh, going for, um, like the, the like the top six positions is is off. Honestly, I, I I'd be very very surprised if we managed to get to a top six position by the end of this. But yeah. So has like Bon the war. The Pez six ledge of course scores against me. At the first goal. Jeez. Oh, it can't be having that. Come on. That's that's ours. Bit of risks going risks. Here's Gearson. Go on, Gearson. Puts in bad shit. Go on, bad shit. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you're just so slow on the turn, honestly. Wow. <laughs> I've been playing a bit as Barcelona, uh, practicing a bit, and like Ronaldinho and Messi just turn so quickly. It's unreal. And I'm going to go for a shot there, whatever. But uh, yeah, quite a lot of memories playing this game back in the day. That's out. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm going to take Young off. Uh, okay. Okay, I see what you're doing there. So we haven't made any subs yet. I don't even know if to make any at this point because I'm quite all right with the way things are going. I just really want us to get that equalizing goal, which I think is... Um, you know what? We're probably going to have to make some subs in a moment just to freshen up. I feel like we're kind of slowing down a bit. And this this team has no pace as it is, honestly. So, <laughs> you know, it's always good. Yes, seriously. <sighs> That's all right. Oh, my God, Maka. Go on, Maka. Ah, oh, he had no pace <laughs> at all. Well, anyway, I'm going to make some changes here. Uh, some changes. And, um, who was it? It was got I think bad shit's coming off for uh, what's his name? Um, oh, oh, it's good. Oh, it's quite good. Is it quite better than that? No, it's not, <laughs> unfortunately. So, I mean, we're having, we're having some decent efforts here. Here's Berger. Carew, uh, not Carew, he was a bit of a ledge him. Oh no, quick, Ruskin, you're way out of position, man. You're way out of position, what are you doing? Right, okay, let's just build from the back here. Oh my god. Is Gearson, he's coming off in a moment. And that was bad. Quite really, I need the subs to get on. That's something that's needed. Oh god. Go on, Beardy. Bed is the word here. Oh my god. Right, he's coming off, so that's fine. Get him off there. Dodo's coming on. And Va the legendary Valerni, who I think once was described as um, 
the was it the the budget tour am or something something like that <laughs> or, uh, or or something like that budget N Maldini or Nesta or something oh my lord what come on man we was doing pretty good there as well oh my god Agbon Lahore has got a hat trick are you serious <laughs> bon Lahore is like literally a top goal scorer in the league now <laughs> on match day one. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Crossed in. It's just a gift. Should have just left it. Ah. Oh. Work to do. Work to do. That's not good, is it? Oh no, I thought he'd missed the header initially, but no, it's no good, it's no good, we've got to build it, we've got to build this team. No, oh, that's no good. I'm fit, yeah, so I think the three up front just works for me, so I think I'll probably just stick with that, honestly. Alright, this is alright. Go on, Valens, Valens, Valens. Steeny Steinenberg. Oh, it's all right. It's Ayugs. Go on, Ayugs. He's going to have to go wide to Valens. Whipped back in. Boosh! Oh, I don't believe it. Ah. Just when you think some magic might happen. That's all right. Yeah, go on, Ordaz. Ordaz, just come on. He's a bit of a ledge. Gets a few goals here and there. Well, not really, but he gets he gets maybe one or two, you know, so he's a bit of a ledge. <laughs> Here's Petrov. And that's full time. Oh, well. The thing is, that's what you've got to expect this season, though. We are going to get absolutely annihilated in a lot of these matches to start off with until we can build a better team. Um... But it, 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 it did look a little bit promising, to be honest, guys. A little bit. We had six shots, four of them on target. They had eight and seven. So uh, not too bad there. And, um, yeah. So we can actually go to the ratings as well, see what we got. Um, uh, so jamila has got a seven. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Uh, probably because he got the gold, in not he? But... Bear shit. Actually, bear shit was pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, th these guys came on and got sixes, but then again, they played a short amount of time, didn't they? Bong Lahore was 7.5. He was definitely, obviously, the man of the match. It says it doesn't even, like, tell you who the man of the match is anymore. That's just, like, crazy, but yeah. So we've got our scorers with assists as well. Oh, we got we got a little bit of IGN.com there as well, guys, you know, just because... And then it tells you about the possession as well. Other match results, we get to see them from here as well. And as you can see, they're like Bolton, Sunderland, Chelsea, Reading, Fulham, Middlesbrough, Everton, Newcastle, Blackburn, and Spurs all night games. But Arsenal have already won a derby. They've actually got like a first win under the belt. So, oh my God. Like, they, they've, ma <laughs> they've matched. <laughs> they've matched the amount of wins they got in the actual season already within the first game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that is that. And Liverpool and Man U drew, actually. So as you can see right here, we got some like team popularity kind of thing going on. So we got five bonus points right there. Why was that? Because of the goal we scored or something. We got absolutely nothing because we lost pretty much. And then you got the player popularity here, which um, will take effect over time, I guess. And as always, you've got your um, improvement. So if you turn development on, the experience and stuff will count towards um, players improving and whatnot so you can check that out and basically the more time you give them on the field and whatnot the more they'll sort of get and whatnot and here we go then so we move on to uh, week two and that's going to be against Middlesbrough so anyway that's uh, pretty much it then for this episode guys but um, we're just going to take a look at some of the results from the game week one here and um, yeah Bolton won against Sunderland 1-0 uh, Chelsea won 3-0 against Reading Middlesbrough lost 1-0 to Fulham Everton won 1-0 against Newcastle Spurs won away at Blackburn 1-0 and uh, that ends off the results so what we can do now is um, if, well in fact there's cup games here but as you can see we're not playing that so that will happen after the uh, league game so and i think is this one yeah this one's the second league so we don't actually have any cup games until um game week 12 here well we'll be playing um 
but it hasn't come up yet. Well, that doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> because because we know who we're, we're playing West Ham anyway, so whatever. Um, but yeah, um, so we got Fulham, we got West Ham, we got Liverpool in week five, we got uh, Bolton in week six, Portsmouth week seven, Derby week eight. There's also internationals there, as you can see by the um, like the little globe over the um, of the club or whatever going on that week. Um, we got Birmingham week ten is Man U. Then we got um, Everton. Then we got Sunderland, Blackburn, uh, Wigan. We got Arsenal, followed by Chelsea. Uh, then we got Reading and Spares. So we should have Spares on the last day of the season as well. Oh, wait a minute. No. We'll have uh, Newcastle on the last day. Sorry. It's kind of weird that you have game week 18 here, and then you have like the transfer period, and then you have 19. So then like the second half of the season doesn't really begin till the week 24, to be honest. But you have like... Um, as you can see here, you have like a full 52 weeks. Whereas I think it was like 46 or something last time in like PES 6 and stuff like that. Are we aware for that? Yeah, we are aware for that one. So we've got Newcastle away on the last day. And as you can see here, we got like the semi-finals of the cup will be here. This is the final. And if we made the Champions League uh, final, that would be in week 42. But obviously we don't have that. So uh, yeah. And then obviously we get some weeks of uh, negotiating here. Um, so yeah. And that is uh, pretty much that, guys. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, the one last thing to do is maybe just check the uh, league table. There's Chelsea at top, followed by Villa, Arsenal, uh, Bolton, Derby, Everton, Fulham and Spurs. Basically, all those teams that won today. Then there's the teams that drew in the middle and then the teams that lost there. So we're 19th, so we're not, we're not, we're not dead last. If we're not dead last, that's a positive. <laughs> that's a positive for now. But, uh, yeah... So that's uh, pretty much it after uh, week one, guys. So, uh, yeah, join us uh, next time, guys, where, let's have a look, we will be playing a Middlesbrough. I'm thinking this series might be two games an episode, but it might be two full games an episode or so. Or it might be, like, three games plus one full match or something like that, which is maybe what I'm thinking. I'm not too sure yet. We're going to have to give it some thought about what I'm really going to do. So I'll think about that for next time. But we've got Middlesbrough first home game. We've got Sunderland against Arsenal. We've got uh, Reading, Fulham. We've got Blackburn and Chelsea. We've got Newcastle and Derby. Spurs and Wigan. Birmingham, Liverpool. We've got West Ham, Portsmouth. We've got Aston Villa, uh, Everton and Manchester United, Bolton. So join us for that one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Please do comment, rate, subscribe and share as always. Join us for the Middlesbrough game next time. See you then, and God help this team, because they're legends. So see you then. Steamy Spannenberg. Oh, it's alright, it's a yukes. Corny yukes. Gonna have to go wide to the back here.